The central destination in Cherokee, North Carolina is Great Smoky Mountain National Park. It's worth a visit, especially if you take the time to see all of its best spots, but you should also take the time to explore the surrounding historical and natural wonders. Keep watching to learn about the best things to do in Cherokee, North Carolina. Great Smoky Mountain National Park This is one of the best things to do in Cherokee. It's not only the most popular attraction, but the most visited national park in America, with over 141 million visitors every year. It takes up 800 square miles and has 300 miles of winding roads. There are biking and hiking trails, campsites, picnic spots, exhibition areas, creeks, and more. Set aside more than a day if you want to see everything the park has to offer. Many of the best things to do in Cherokee sit right within it. Mountain Farm Museum This unique museum sits inside Great Smoky Mountains National Park at Okanalufti Visitor Center. It's a haven for fans of agriculture. It has a collection of farm structures and buildings from the 1800s to the present day. Most were built elsewhere and relocated, except for the barn with its 16,000 hand-split shingles. The museum houses homes such as the one John Davis built out of chestnut logs in 1900. It has commercial structures such as a meat house, blacksmith shop, woodshed, hog pen, ash hopper, and more. You can see all the original agriculture practices and may even find pigs in pens or elk roaming around. Mingus Mill this mill sits near the Mountain Farm Museum and is another one of Cherokee's most historic spots. It dates back to 1886. The water-powered mill was originally used for grinding corn, and it honors that history. Many components, such as its turbine and sluice, work the way they always have. You can buy several varieties of cornmeal in the shop. Smokemont Riding Stables why not try exploring the beauty of the Great Smoky Mountains in a new way? These stables, found within the National Park, are full of well-trained and beautiful horses. Take them through the beautiful trails. Beginners can get their bearings thanks to knowledgeable guides, and children can go on a wagon ride. Most rides last two to four hours. They'll take you along the Oconalufta River. Mingo Falls these impressive waterfalls are close to the National Park but sit 10 or 15 minutes out of Cherokee. That doesn't mean you won't be able to see them. They sit 120 feet in the air and are one of the tallest in the southern Appalachian Mountains. Get to the Mingo Falls campground via the Pigeon Creek Trail. It's only half a mile long but has 160 steps to climb. You'll eventually arrive at the viewing platform and the view is worth the effort. Parking is free and you can also stay at the Mingo Falls campground if one day isn't enough. Soco Falls Cherokee offers more than just one natural waterfall. There's a double waterfall that's 120 feet high. Natives used it as an entry point to their settlements in the 1700s. Today, you can climb up to the observation deck and enjoy the beautiful view and lush greenery. Fire Mountain Trails This network of over 10.5 miles of trails welcomes bikers, hikers, and runners. It's split up into sections based on difficulty, from smooth single-track roads to challenging and bumpy trails. The trails connect with beautiful features such as rock gardens, berms, tables, and blinds. They also provide beautiful views. And the best part, it's all free. Okanalufti Indian Village This unique attraction sits right next to the Fire Mountain Trails. It's a living museum that lets you learn about the lives and customs of 16th century Cherokee people. An expert will guide you through and show you their sacred sites, working areas, and homes. You can also see them make crafts like canoes or baskets and watch traditional dances or war reenactments. The village offers tours every day. It's only open from May to October, so plan your trip accordingly. Museum of the Cherokee Indian USA Today put this museum on its list of the 10 greatest Native American experiences. The museum was opened in 1948 and now houses thousands of years of artifacts, photos, videos, animations, music, figurines, and more. Exhibits for children have pop-up books, graphics, animations, and effects. You can also participate in the trail hike held by the Native Eastern Band and workshops to learn Native skills. Buy crafts from the gift shop. 
or take your picture with the stone carving outside before you leave. The museum opens every day at 9 but is closed on major holidays. Admission is $12 for adults and $7 for children aged 6 to 12. Unto These Hills Cherokee Theater This has been one of the best things to do in Cherokee for theater lovers and history buffs since 1950. The drama department of the nearby university and the local tribe work together to tell the story of the Trail of Tears, a historical period from the 1780s to the 21st century. 16,000 Native Americans were forced to relocate west of the Mississippi River. The show combines music and dance to create an unforgettable experience. There are also more music and dance performances at the theater to enjoy. The production is held every night from June to August. The theater has 2,800 seats, so be sure to get in early. Kuala Arts and Crafts Mutual, Inc. This is America's oldest Native American cooperative. That makes it one of the best things to do in Cherokee if you're looking for an authentic Native American handicraft. The collection has been in operation since 1946. All 350 artisans are Cherokee Indians who put a tag with their name on everything they make. You'll find wood and stone carvings, jewelry, pottery, and more. The most famous items are the baskets. The Cherokee people make them from white oak, river cane, and honeysuckle vines. Sequoia National Golf Club This club sits three miles outside Cherokee. It was designed by Robert Trent Jones II. He gave every hole on this 6,000-yard course a historical twist. You'll see bluegrass fairways and bent grass. The terrain is beautiful, but it can be complex with a mix of five par threes and five par fives. Bring plenty of golf balls so you can enjoy them all. Harris Cherokee Casino and Resort This casino resort has over 1,000 rooms and 21 floors. Its mountainside setting and range of activities make it one of the best places to stay in the country. In addition to the casino, there are also restaurants, shops, karaoke, pools, and occasional concerts. Guests also get access to the Sequoia National Golf Club. Smoky Mountain Gold and Ruby Mine A trip to this old mine will have you feeling like an old prospector. Visitors of all ages will love looking through the mud for gold and gems. Take your prize to an on-site location to be polished and identified. You can take it home as is or have it turned into jewelry. If you didn't have much luck, you can buy a shiny souvenir at the gift shop. Cherokee Rapids Tube and Kayak Rentals This shop will take you to the right location on the Oconalufti River on a bus. Once they give you all the necessary equipment, you can float down and see all the best sights. Most trips are calm, but there are a few rapids and obstacles to be aware of. Go to the ice cream and candy shops at the end to reward yourself for taking the plunge. Cherokee Bear Zoo This is one of the most specialized zoos in the world, but that's what makes it so fun. Bear lovers can see species from grizzlies to black bears. Other species include tigers and lemurs. Children can hand-feed animals like baby goats in the petting zoo. There's mini golf, a gift shop, and an ice cream shop as well. It opens at 10 a.m. year-round, weather permitting. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Cherokee, North Carolina? Do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.